Hello everyone, and welcome back to the world of Thetis. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we are going to be going to the next campaign, which is the largest of the campaigns that I'll be playing after the game. So today I'll start Dragon Age Awakening. This is the first time you're seeing my videos, then uh, I have just completed the full playthrough of Dragon Age Origins. This is the 52nd episode. And uh, yeah, so now I'm moving on to the content after the game is over. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing Awakening here. Um, so let's just get right into it. Well, I'm going to create a new character because my character that I played in Origins is now dead. So <laughs> I have to make a new character. And I don't know what kind of character, um, I hope that didn't give away too much, but my character is dead from Origins. So I have to be a male or female. Um, I was a male last time, so I'm going to be a female this time, just because. And um, I already played an elf, so I would like to play something that I haven't played before. So maybe just a regular human would be good. Human, the most numerous, yet the most divided, of all the races. Only four times have they ever united under a single cause, the last being centuries ago. Religion and the Chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Interesting. I'm going to try to be a... Um, well, no matter what I play, I guess I'm a Grey Warden, but as far as class, I can be a Mage, a Rogue, or a Warrior. I'm going to be a Mage, I think. A Woman of the Chantry. Um, the Grey Wardens were once exiled from their Ferelden, from Ferelden for conspiring to overthrow the King. They were permitted to return 20 years ago by King Merrick, Kaelin's father. Uh, so the Mage... As dangerous as it is potent, magic is a curse for those lacking the uh, will to wield it. Malevolent spirits that wish to enter the world of the living are drawn to mages like beacons, putting the mage and everyone nearby in constant danger. Because of this, mages lead lives of isolation, locked away from the world they threaten. Specializations include spirit healer, shapeshifter, arcane warrior, and blood mage. Okay. Um, you know what, though? I have to use my voice. I have to use my voice for this character. And my voice is like a man's voice. So because of that, I'll have to be a man. Because it wouldn't make sense for me to be voicing this lady. Because I can't make a lady voice. And if I, and even if I can, I'm not going to do that the whole like playthrough. So I guess I have to be a guy because of my voice. Um... Um, so yeah, let's play next. Greetings. Uh, his name is Gerard Karen. Um, I'm fine with going with that default name. Um, as far as the presets go, uh, let's see. I really like that a lot. It's just a different color, but yes, I'm all about it. Especially as a mage, he looks very magely. Um... That's, ooh, look at him. He's a nice young man. Strapping young man. Um, his skin, tattoos. I guess the tattoos would be on his face. As a mage, I feel like that's a more elven thing to do. Just to put tattoos on your face. Um, not necessarily a magely thing to do. So tattoo color and intensity wouldn't matter. Now for the hair, I'm pretty fine with the hair the way it is but uh let's just check it out see if there's any <laughs> god that guy uh oh boy let's go with um oh my god the backstreet boys guys it's the backstreet boys i can't stand this haircut i'm sorry alistair but and ogren but that's his terrible haircut it's so like early 2000s you can tell the age of the game by the haircut um, 
that's kind of nice. It's it's a little disheveled, but not too too untidy. Um, a braid. I feel like that's a more elven thing to do. This is meh. That's I guess proper. That's almost the same, just barely different. Um, uh, maybe. Wow, that's very elven. But it also looks good on him, though. He looks good with that. Maybe I'm just used to uh, Theron, but I think that was Theron's hair, right? All right, I'm going to go with um, the one that I said that I kind of liked, which was this one. I think it's, you know, it's, it's you know, it's clean, I guess. It's, it's good. And it's a little bit feathery. So I, it's not too proper. I, I don't like it to be too proper. Uh, now the color, um, I'm gonna. I want him to appear young. So I think a, either a dark black or a slightly less dark black, like this, or a very dark black. Wait, oops, I'm changing the wrong thing. Kind of like a dark. I think I like a dark. Uh, the eyebrows are pretty fine. Um, not too picky about the eyebrows. I mean, they're kind of whatever. But I don't want them to be that bushy. I don't know. Maybe this is like very clean looking. Now stubble, it doesn't matter. I mean, I've already got a giant beard. What does it matter? I'm not going to put any stubble. Eyebrow. Uh, co oh, color. Yeah, well, I guess it should be kind of match my hair. Um, I think I'm happy with that. Eyes. I mean, his eyes are fine. I don't see any reason to change the eyes. Maybe they're a little bit wide. Maybe the eye spacing is a little wide to me. I don't know. Does that seem wide to you guys? I don't know. Now it's fine. I, I guess it's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, but I guess I'll just try to look at these different presets. Kind of like the last one, the way it was. Um... The brow depth, I mean, I feel like that's not... The nose, I got to do something about that nose. Look at this. Look at that. I mean, that, nothing on people that have noses like that, but uh, the bridge depth. Is that what it is? Yeah, the bridge depth. Holy crap. Let's see what other shapes look like. Okay. Some of these are... Nobody just has a regular nose. Okay, I feel like this is a regular nose, just really, really long. So let's move it back. Um, tip, depth, and width. Uh, no, okay, never mind. That's not a regular nose. That's a more regular nose. It's just really long. Um, I hope I'm not, like, body shaming anybody. I promise. I'm just making my character, okay, guys? <laughs> just, I'm just making my character. Um... Let's just uh, nose depth. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's the nose depth was pretty high. Nose height is fine. Nostril width. I mean, it's quite fine. It's a very pointed nose. I can say that for sure. Tip width. Um... Oh, God. Um, kind of hard. I think I have to move it this way. Yeah, there we go. It's way too out there. There, that's a. I feel like that's an unnoticeable, not really a, a much attention coming to that kind of nose. Um, the height of the nose. I feel it. I basically don't want it to draw any attention whatsoever. Um, I feel like now that I've said that though, I can only focus on the nose. Okay, good enough. Mouth, cheeks. Uh. Okay, I can't change the mouth or cheeks. That's very interesting. Neck and ears. The neck height, we can't see his neck. I mean, it's not really. Ear size. They're already pretty good, I guess. Neck thickness. None of that really matters. Uh, and then the portrait. He looks a little lost. <laughs> He's like, what is happening? Who? Where am I is what he looks like. Uh, so let's keep him turned right. Let's angle him like this. 
uh, or uh, yeah, he's turned to his right. This is fine. This is good. The background, instead of a gray, I like orange, I think. The expression. What the heck is that? Okay. <laughs> Voice. It's not going to matter because he doesn't have one. He's gone. How do you do? Ooh, how do you do? Damn, lost the spell. Okay, that was totally different, but. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. Greetings. Blasted. I'm charmed, I'm sure. Charmed, I'm sure. It didn't work. Yeah. Greetings. Ah, my spell. Greetings. Greetings. Well, that didn't work. I like the experienced. How do you do? Focus. This is not good. Coming through. It says cocky, but he doesn't sound that cocky to me. I have lost concentration. My weapon does nothing. I need by, please. I guess wise. We'll go with wise. We're not going to really hear him anyway. I'm totally fine with this default name. Um, I'm because, like, th uh, Theron. That was the default name they gave me, and I was happy with it. So I'm just going to go with Gerard Karen. Um, Gerard Karen. Totally fine with that. Um, I think. Yeah. Uh, let, me, hmm, let me think for a second. Okay. I've decided to go with Cassius. So his name is going to be Cassius Karen, or uh, Cass for short. Uh, so let's do that. Ah, specializations. I never got to really understand the specializations. He's not going to be a shapeshifter. That's too Morrigan-like. Um, spirit healer. I could be a healer for my group. I like doing damage, though. I like being an arcane warrior. Uh, plus one dexterity and plus five attack. Among the ancient elves, there were mages who trained their magical arts to augment their martial prowess. They channeled magical power through their weapons and bodies, becoming terrors on the battlefield. Most consider these skills lost forever, but they may still linger in forgotten corners of the world. Arcane warriors may learn to use their magic score to satisfy the strength requirement to equip higher level weapons and armor. Oh, okay. So let's be an arcane warrior because um, I just believe that that would be a lot of fun. So yeah, let's play an Arcane Warrior next. Oh my god, 62 points to spend? Well, I guess that means magic. A magic is um, the measure of a character's natural affinity for the Arcane. This attribute is cu crucial for mages since it directly increases a character's spell power score which determines the potency of all spells. The magic attribute also determines how effective potions, poultices, and salves are for classes. Well, then that means that's going up. Maybe not to 65. Let's go to 45. Constitution is the health and resilience. So we want to have plenty of health. Because I don't like dying. That's not fun. And willpower. High willpower mages can cast more spells. So yes. Uh, so let's lower the constitution to 25 and give myself plenty of willpower so that I have plenty of spells to cast and I'm decently strong as well. So uh, yeah, let's go with that. I don't need strength or dexterity as far as I understand. Uh, so let's go next. Ah, now here we get to this. I don't even know what rune crafting, vitality. Uh, the character has begun. Okay, I can't even get those. Why am I looking at them? Um, but I think it might be good to have, um, mages can take more damage from an attack before it interrupts their spell casting. Um, I need to have that because this will allow me to, uh, increase the, um, the level of skills that I can use. And then I'm going to go with these because I like having, um, herbalism. And the rest will go into coercion. Um, maybe I can bring one out of this and bring it in there. Um, 
All right, let's go next on that. And then I have lots of points to spend here. Now, as a mage, a pr there's creation mage, a spirit mage, an entropy mage. Uh, there's a primal mage, which like I love the whole primal mage thing. I think it's so cool. Like inferno, like full blast fire and lightning. Heck yeah, I love the whole fire and lightning thing. So I'm gonna go with that. Wow, look at that chain lightning. I love this right here. This is cool. This stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Fire and lightning and ice and yeah, let's let's get all of that. All right, let's play. And uh, you guys know me. I'm going to play on easy difficulty because I'm not really interested in the combat. I'm more interested in the story. So let's go. All right, here it goes. With the death of the Archdemon, the Blight was defeated. Wow. Yes, we just did that. We just but defeated it. But the Darkspawn it. did not simply disappear. Didn't disappear. Where'd they Most go? of the horde scattered north from Denerim towards the coastlands. And there, fractured into warring tribes. The region fell into chaos as the darkspawn emerged from hidden lairs to terrorize the countryside. As the new warden commander of Ferelden, it is your responsibility to rebuild the order and deal with the lingering threat. You have come to Amaranthine to join the rest of the Grey Wardens at Vigil's Keep, once home to Arl Rendon Howe, but now property of the Order. The right. lack of a proper welcoming party as you grow close, however, indicates that something is amiss. What's going on? Why are there no Wardens here to greet us? Something is wrong. Quickly, Commander! Okay, before we start here, I just want to say it's so cool to be back to this fortress, especially when, you know, I in my previous character in the main game, I freed this. So playing this DLC with all of the knowledge that I now have of what happened in the main game, absolutely cool. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, we're going to need all of that. Okay, so let's play lightning, I guess. Alright, let's use this. <laughs> yeah, I really like these. Jesus, man. It's you, isn't it? The new commander. Oh, thank the maker. How did this happen? I, I don't know. That came out of nowhere. All I heard was screams and people dying. I got out as fast as I could and ran into these... Gin locks. You need to help them. You need to do something. All right. Are there any other wardens alive? I think there was a mage right behind me. He might have been a warden. I don't know. I'll see if I can't find some help. There has to be a patrol on the road. We don't have a lot of time, Commander. Well, these Darkspawn launched a sneak attack. That's unheard of. This isn't a blight. How could they be so organized? I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand either. I thought the Archdemon was dead. Perhaps there's something else that is leading them. Other than an Archdemon, you mean? Frightening thought. Yeah. Well, nice sword work. You're not just a guide, are you? Oh, pardon me, Commander. I'd assumed proper introductions would be taken care of at the Keep. My name is Myrie. I was a knight in the King's service until I was recruited a month ago, but I haven't taken my joining yet. The Seneschal sent me to bring you back. I was not expecting this. Hmm. So, where are we exactly? This is Vigil's Keep, which once belonged to Arl Howe. Amaranthine was given to the Grey Wardens after the war, and this is our new seat. I see. So who's in command here? Varel the Seneschal. He is the Keep Steward, I believe, working for the Wardens. 
All right, well, let's keep moving then. We need to find him. Right. Let's teach these evil bastards a lesson. All right. Um, now, before I keep going, there's lots of codex updates already. Um, so we're going to start with the Vigil's Keep. Defeat the Darkspawn attack. The Grey Warden Stronghold of Vigil's Keep is under attack by Darkspawn. Make your way into the Keep and eliminate the Darkspawn forces. So that's what I'll be doing. And look at all the codex entries already. Now, I don't care about the controls. The notes, uh, that's just the credits. I appreciate the credits. I appreciate the people that made the game. Um, and we have Mahari. Now, I'm sure this will update with more stuff over time. But right now, all we know is this little bit. Allow me to say I'm very proud to serve under your command. Mahari was a knight in Ferelden's army until agreeing to join the Grey Wardens. Sh she can think of no greater honor, nor better way to serve the nation, and is eager to undertake the joining. Um, and then the creatures is a Jinlock. Uh, yeah, I already know about the Jinlocks. Uh, so let's go and see if we can more find... Trouble. I love this playstyle a lot better. Flame Blast. Oh, that's that's really fun. That's really fun. Ogres. Now, the thing is, is I'm probably not going to read all of these. Um, because I've actually already read all of these. I've already read all of this stuff in the, the original game. So I already know about the lore involved with these guys. And I know that they are actually from Broodmothers, which, you know, the different races of mankind, I could I suppose, are actually what gives rise to these things. So, like, those giant ogres are actually um, the, what are they called? The Kunari. When the Kunari goes through a Broodmother, um, then that's what they turn into. What's going on here? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like a lightning storm. That's pretty cool. That's a really cool AoE ability. Alright, let's get to the interior. Unbelievable. The keep has been overwhelmed. How did the wardens not sense the darkspawn coming? I don't understand it. Hmm. How many wardens are there? Not many. A dozen, perhaps? There are other soldiers who came with them, however. For the Dark Spawn to have ambushed the keep so effectively, I didn't know they were capable of such a thing. All right. I'm going to need your help, so try to pull yourself together, okay? I hear you, Commander. You can count on me. Mahari approves. Okay, I gotta say, the playing the mage is a lot of fun. Like, it's so much more fun to call down like a lightning storm than it is to shoot an arrow. Um, it's just when I've been playing like that the uh, that other way for so long. Whoa. Uh, so he's Orlesian. You can see that immediately by his clothes. Uh, I didn't do it. Hey, uh, I recognize you from the circle. I, I, I know what they've been saying about me, but this, not my doing. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not broken up about them dying, to be perfectly honest. Biff there made the funniest gurgle when he went down. <laughs> um, who exactly are you supposed to be? You don't remember me. I'm Anders, mage and wanted apostate. An apostate at Vigil's Keep. You weren't here when we arrived. I'm sure I would have remembered such a lovely woman as yourself. We were just stopping here on our way back to the tower. Just a short rest, they said, and now they're dead. Such a shame. Those men were Templars? So they kept saying, although come to think of it, there's no real way to know for sure, is there? The Templars captured me and were taking me back, and then, you know, Darkspawn attacked. Could be a sign, yes? Yeah, very convenient sign indeed. Isn't it, though? 
The Maker moves in mysterious ways. Well, tell you what, I'll help you and we can discuss what comes later. Later, once all these bastards are properly put down, yes? <sighs> all right, fine. Anders. Most people enjoy being kicked in the head to be woken up each morning. Me? I just... I'm just so picky. Okay. Anders is an apostate mage. He was arrested by Templars who intended to cart him back to the Circle Tower. Vigil's Keep was to have been a short stop on their long journey. Unfortunately, the keep was attacked just after the group arrived, and Anders was found standing over the bodies of his captors. He insists they were killed by Darkspawn. Regardless, Anders joined Cassius to find the Darkspawn in Vigil's Keep. Okay, well, um, an apostate mage, I can have a little leniency on, I think. Um, oh, here we go. There's the lever. Oh, we're scared now. Don't come over here. Ha! Ooh, what? <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill us, beasties. Come again if you dare. That guy's pretty smart. That was cool. Uh, there's still more, but that was still pretty cool. Oh, they're coming after us. <laughs> I'll show you why mages are feared. Okay, do we go out this way? Oh yeah, we go through the gate that just opened, right? So... Okay, let's save then. Just to... I like hard saving. Oh god, there's just people like hung right here in the freaking hallway. Like not even outside, you're just gonna do it right in the freaking hallway? What? Mercy! Get to safety, quickly! We need to get out of here. Go, get out of here. Oh, he just like teleported in here. Wow, that's just like small room. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move over here and take out this big dude. Um, I'm gonna take f flame blast and then fireball. Yeah, that does. I love it. It does so much damage. Oh, and a firestorm. God, playing a mage is so much fun. Look at it. Wow. Wow, it just keeps going. The, playing a mage, a battle mage, is so much fun. I missed out on a lot when I was playing an archer. Oh. I was going to say, so I was going to say that he's a surface dwarf, which he is, but he's not just a surface dwarf. He's also one of the, uh, what are they called, the Black Legion or something like that. Um, so he's one of the ones that fight in the Dark Roads. Um, well, normally that's where they're at is in the Dark Roads. Uh, actually, the Deep Roads underneath Orzammar. So I wonder what he's doing way up here. Say your friend. Oh god, he's on fire. <laughs> he's on fire in a lightning so storm. New commander, huh? And he's just <laughs> casual. They don't vary much from type, do they? My god, I'm talking to a flaming dwarf and he's totally cool with it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that's just <laughs> okay, I gotta chill. Um, 
All right. And who are you supposed to be? Name's Ogren the Magnificent. Ogren? Warrior of Orzammar. <laughs> yep, that's me. Oh my god, Came it's Ogren. I thinking I might try my hand at becoming a bona fide Grey Warden. <laughs> he was here when I left. I can't believe the Wardens didn't kick him out. Well, hey, if it isn't the recruit with a great rack. Yes, a promise wow. for the Wardens, to be sure. I know, I know. Too good to be true, right? <laughs> hey, who's the mage? Boyfriend? Should I leave you two alone? Wow, a dwarf that smells like a brewery. You never see that anywhere. <laughs> a mage comedian. Thought those normally died young. It's so strange to just see him standing there so casually on in flames. But I think that's an accident, like a glitch in the game. Because he had like a fire status effect on him. And now that it's gone to a cutscene, it's just like stuck on him like that. Anyway, I don't think it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> but he looks like <laughs> he looks like a Giga Chad. <laughs> just leaning there on in, in, a blaze in, inferno, in an inferno. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, you know there are risks to joining the Grey Wardens, right? Ah. Uh. There are risks to getting up in the morning. I piss on risk. I'm sure risk appreciates it. Well, we can talk about that later. Right now, there's more dark spot around in sore need of a beheading. All right, Ogren. Um, this is our good old Ogren from the main playthrough. And we know just about everything about him. We know about him being married to Bronca. We know about... You know, my former character, um, Theron, killing Bronca, and we know the whole story of, of what happened to him. So that's the good thing about playing Awakening, is I already know, like, all the context of everything and the lore of what's going on, where they come from, and their stories and histories. It's really nice to have that as soon as you see them in the game. Myrie? Roland! Commander, Roland was a knight recruited from Denerim like me. We must do something for him. He looks beyond healing magic. Maybe a shot of whiskey for the pain? I like the way you think. Stop joking. This isn't funny. Uh, the, the Commander? All right, what happened here? Where are the others? We only had a moment's warning. Before they were on us, Commander. The Seneschal ordered a counterattack. But they came out of nowhere. This one with them. A dark spawn who talks. Ah, his magic is powerful. A talking dark spawn? The lad must be delirious. There's something in my blood. Ah, it hurts. Wait. Where is this talking dark spawn? Ah, it went that way. After. The Seneschal. Whoa. I will avenge you, Roland. I swear it. Okay, hold up a second. So there's a talking darkspawn. All right, into the keep. All right, we're on the top of the castle. It has ended just as he foretold. Oh, okay, yep, you're going to pay for that. Be taking this one gently. We are wishing no more death than is necessary. Necessary? As if your kind has ever done anything else. You are thinking you know of our kind, human? It is understandable, but that will soon be changed. Others will come, creature. They will stop you. There it is. It seems your words be true. More than you are guessing. It is talking. Well, let's shut it up already. Commander. Capture the Grey Warden. These others, they may be killed. What? This is my okay, so he seems strong. The Withered. That's interesting. So he's intelligent. Let's use this. Favorite part. 
Hopefully that will help a lot. Um, man, he's strong. Commander, I owe you my life. Hmm. Soldiers on the road. It seems we have more company. Hopefully they're more hospitable than our previous guests. So did we clear it? Everything good? All right. King Kalen. So when I play Awakening, it remembers. It looks like I've arrived a bit late. Too bad. I rather miss the whole Darkspawn killing thing. King Alistair. I'd wanted to come and give the Wardens a formal welcome. I certainly wasn't expecting this. What's the situation? What Darkspawn remained have fled, Your Majesty. The Grey Wardens who had arrived from Orlais appear to be either dead or missing. Missing? As in taken by the Darkspawn? Do they even do that? I do not know, Your Majesty. I know only that we cannot account for all the Wardens. I see. And you are the new commander come from Morlay, aren't you? I'm glad to see you yet live. Yes, I am Cassius Karen. Pleased to meet you. Ah, you have quite the task ahead of you. Really, I'd like to help you fight Darkspawn, but you're on your own for the moment. Hey, what am I? Chop nug livers? From the smell, that's not a bad guess. I came here to join the Grey Wardens, and from the looks of it, you could use the extra hands. Now where's the giant cup? I'll gargle and spit. <laughs> You'd be welcome amongst us. Ha! Well, smack my ass and call me Sally. I'm in! I suppose all are welcome in this dire time. Joining the Wardens, eh? Well, good luck with that. King Alistair, your majesty beware, this man is a dangerous criminal. Oh, the dwarf is a bit of an ass, but I wouldn't go that. She means me. This is an apostate who we are in the process of bringing back to the circle to face justice. Oh, please. The things you people know about justice would fit into a thimble. I'll just escape again, anyhow. Never. I will see you hanged for what you've done here, murderer. Murderer? But those Templars were... Oh, what's the use? You won't believe me anyhow. It seems there isn't much to say. Unless you have something to add, Commander. I tend to believe him. Uh, I do. I hereby conscript this mage into the Grey Wardens. What? Never! I believe the Grey Wardens still retain the right of conscription. No? I will allow it. If... If your majesty feels it is best... Ha! <laughs> Way to go, kids! Welcome aboard! Me? A Grey Warden? I guess that will work. Congratulations, Sir Mage. I look forward to fighting at your side. Then if you have everything under control, I will need to take my leave. I believe the estate has been secured, yes. We have suffered great losses, but the Darkspawn are gone, and there are survivors. Oh, excuse my manners. I am Veril. Seneschal of Vigil's Keep, and I am most grateful for your timely rescue, Commander. I will aid you in ruling the lands of Amaranthine. Well, this Arling belongs to the Wardens, not me exactly. But as Commander of the Grey, you are the equivalent of our Arl as well. Come and speak to me soon. There are many matters to attend to, not the least of which is the joining. You will need to replenish your numbers. Yeah. The security of Ferelden relies on the Grey Wardens now, even weakened as the Order is. It will be up to you to deal with the vestiges of the Blight before the situation grows out of control. No easy task, but I'm confident you are up to it. Good luck, Commander. May the Maker watch over you. Before we do anything else, Commander, there's an urgent matter we must take care of. Right now, I know of only one living Warden assigned to all of Ferelden. That should be rectified. The others could aid you considerably. My goodness. I do not like that. That whatever effect 
you what took on place on you while you were fighting, it stays throughout the entire cutscene. So he's like talking to a ghost right now. Um, all right, well, let's begin the joining. As you wish, Commander. The time has come for us to begin the joining. I shall speak the words that have been said since the first. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand, vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten, and that one day we shall join you. They need to drink dark blood. From this blood. moment forth, yeah. Agron, you are a Grey Warden. What's this, the sampler size? <sighs> are you trying to say something about my height? Huh? This is the goblet we've always used. Really? <clears throat> they may not live. It's not a guarantee that you'll live after drinking Dark's blood, uh, Darkspawn blood. Uh, hmm. Not bad. Why is his eyes rolled in the back all. of his head? Well, he survived. From Ogren's this moment good. forth, Anders, you are a Grey Warden. So we need to drink Darkspawn blood? That's it? That is it, yes. Well, all right. But if I wake up two weeks from now on a ship bound for Ravain in nothing but my small clothes and a tattoo on my forehead, I'm blaming you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he didn't survive. He lives, Commander. Oh, he and does. Will awaken in time. Okay. From this moment forth, Myrie, you are a Grey Warden. I have awaited this moment. Is she gonna live? <laughs> oh, so she's dead. I am sorry, Myrie. Wow. May the Maker watch over you now. Ogryn is a Poor beast. Myrie. Open the doors! The commander must be informed about the Deep Road's entrance. It could be their base of operation. You'd have the Wardens chase a rumor then, Captain. And even if it proves true, unless the Pilgrim's path is cleared by the time your army assembles, they'll have nothing to eat but shoe leather. Garavel, Woolsey, the commander has had a long day. Woolsey says some merchants escaped the Darkspawn. They can reprovision you for a reasonable fee. And the vigil is yours. Take whatever weapons and armor you need. We'll be waiting when you're ready. Okay, so Ogren and Anders approves um, the Disciples. The Disciples are Darkspawn that have become sapient after some sort of process of awakening after which they choose their own names. They are cunning, powerful, and hold influence over non-awakened Darkspawn. Wow, disciples. They're Darkspawn that have become sapient after awakening process. Okay, that's interesting. Um, another codex on Seneschal Varel. Varel has spent his life defending Amarinthian. When Rendon Howe was Arl, Veril briefly became Seneschal of Vigil's Keep, but he repeatedly objected to Howe's orders and was demoted to lower and lower ranks. Nonetheless, he continued to serve with defiance. When Howe's acts turned more sinister, Veril secretly sheltered those in need and used what little power he had to counteract the Arl's uh, atrocities. Soon, Veril was languishing in the dungeon awaiting execution, but Howe died first. Exactly, and we killed him, in the during the main game when the gray wardens took over amarinthian the order reappointed Veril as seneschal although Veril is not a warden himself his position as chief administer of the warden's lands makes him privy to many secrets of the order including the joining ritual this rare honor is a testament to his character and unfortunately mari died um sadly mari's enthusiasm did not save her she perished in the joining ritual like so many others before her and was laid to rest as a Grey Warden. Now, Ogren 
we know all about his previous um, history. Um, when the blight was ended, Ogren settled down with his old flame, Felsi, and had a child. Oh, I didn't know that. But domestic bliss did not last, and so Ogren traveled to Vigil's Keep in hope of becoming a warden himself. Ogren survived the joining. His extensive experience drinking bitter swill likely helped. Ogren's passion for strong drink hasn't waned. And Anders. Most people enjoy being kicked in the head to be woken up each morning. Me? I'm just so... Oh yeah, we already read this. Um, Anders joined Cassius to fight the Darkspawn in Vigil's Keep. Afterwards, Anders was recruited into the Grey Wardens. He survived the joining. Okay, well, that's awesome. Um, and uh, the Vigil? Uh, Vigil's Keep is one of the oldest settlements in Ferelden. The older than Denerim and, Gr and Warren. The barbarians who battled the Taventer Imperium chose this location for a fortress so that their warning fires uh, would be visible at great distance when Taventer ships neared the coast. The Vigil has seen battle in every major invasion of Ferelden. Taventers, rival barbarian clans, and Orlesians have all held their battlements. The Vigil was the first fortress to fall to the Orlesians and the last to be freed. Okay, well, there you go. Um, that'll be it for today's episode. Um, I don't know why I'm still, like, invisible, but uh, maybe it's this. Um, oh, that's what it was. Okay, uh, so anyway, that was a very cool episode. We know already so much about the history and lore of, of Dragon Age, having played through the whole game, so it's fun. To see these old characters, it was great to see King Kalen. So I feel like playing Awakening, it remembers or knows what choices I made in the main game. And then is carrying those on into Awakening. I think that's freaking great. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Join the Discord, like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.